Away from that, let's look at some legal issues. As lawyers for former Cocoa Board CEO have told the Supreme Court that the presiding judge, Justice Clemens Hunegai, rejected one of the evidences they presented in defense of their client, Dr. Stephen Upuni. According to lead counsel Samuel Kuju, the Supreme Court judge sitting in an additional high court judge rejected a document that indicated that the litivit fertilizer supplied to the farmers was good and accepted the one that the state said was contrary. Here's a report by Godfrey Tenam. Dr. Stephen Okwabino Puni filed an application invoking the supervisory jurisdiction of the APS court to quash the decision of Justice Clement Honyoniga not to recuse himself from the matter. He is also praying the Supreme Court to quash the decision of the High Court in dismissing his submission of no case. In his argument, lead counsel for Dr. Puni Samuel Kujo said the application is based on breach of section 6 of the Evidence Act, which says when one is subjecting to a document, it is done at the time of tendering the document. He added it also had to do with the principle of natural justice. He argued his client was not heard when the decision of the High Court was taken. He pointed out that Clemens Honyoniga acted contrary to Section 8 of the Evidence Act. He also tried to convince the five-member panel the presiding judge Justice Honyoniga exhibited bias in the case. He argued there were two statements from two farmers presented to the court. One stated that the little vet fertilizer supply to the farmers was good, another indicated the contrary. But according to the counsel for Dr. Opuni Samuel Kuju, Justice Honyoniga decided to rely on the document that says the fertilizer was not good and rejected the one that stated the contrary. The Deputy Attorney General Alfred Chiyaboa for the state submitted that the applicant has failed to meet the required threshold to invoke the supervisory jurisdiction of the court. He added Samuel Kuju failed to demonstrate that there is any error made by the presiding judge. The judge, he indicated, only concluded a case has been made for the defense lawyers to open their case, which does not amount to bias. Dr. Puni and businessman Sidu Agongo are standing trial of accusations of causing financial loss of more than 271.3 million cities to the state in a series of fertilizer deals. The two have denied any wrongdoing and have pleaded not guilty to all the charges. The case has been adjourned to July 28 for ruling.